Welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here. Today's episode of Sofa Talk is a super exciting one. I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my hair secrets, going through my extensive hair care routine, rating them all out of 10 and telling you what actually works. Everybody's tried and tested loads of hair products from Boots and Superdrug and some just really don't hit right but I'm gonna be telling you the ones that actually are worth the money. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Grab a drink, grab a snack and let's chat. I have got another little pig mug today and some chocolate. This can Cadbury chocolate is literally like eating an advent calendar. It's only a pound, why not? So before we go into the products that I use, I thought I would give you some background about my hair type. I naturally have really curly, frizzy hair. I'll attach an image of that on the screen for you. I don't really wear it that often in the UK, just because I feel like it doesn't come out very nice in the UK. And on holiday, it's absolutely stunning. It comes out soft and not frizzy at all, but I am gonna be trying to wear it more while at home. And I'm gonna be bringing you along for that journey so stay tuned for that. I do this thing called a Brazilian blow dry and then straighten it to get this look. I've just had it cut which is so nice. You honestly can't beat a fresh haircut. So moving on from that we're gonna go through my hair care routine step by step starting from what I use to wash it and what I use once it is completely dry and straightened. First things first the products that I use to wash my hair are these. I have the Garnier Ultimate Blend Strengthening Shampoo for damaged hair and then I've also got the conditioner that goes with it, the matching one. It smells like honey. It is so nice. I always get so many compliments about the way my hair smells and it's all down to this. It is so good. Oh my god, it's open. I hope it hasn't leaked. I want it shut. There we go. By the way, none of this is sponsored and none of this is an ad. This is just what I've found from trial and error over the many, many years I've been doing my hair. Once I've washed my hair, I then put it up in a little towel for a bit and then it's time to add many, many products at this stage. Starting off with this absolute babe of a product. It is the Charles Worthington Moisture Seal Leave-In Conditioner. I'm putting you onto this as my biggest hair secret. I can't believe I only recently discovered leave-in conditioner. Where was it my whole life when I needed it? And I really did need it. But this one is amazing. You can get it from Amazon, Superdrug. I haven't tried Boots, but I'm sure it's in there too. I'm going to rate this 10 out of 10. I incorporate this into my blow-dry routine. I add this on after I've washed my hair, before I blow-dry it, and it leaves it's so silky and gorgeous as you can see and when I go on holiday and I do my hair curly I put lots of this in and it makes the curls just look stunning they're so soft barely any frizz honestly best product what do I add next I have been adding John Frieda frizzies for years. For a long, long, long time. I'd say like five years. This was the only thing I applied to my wet hair. What was going on with me? I feel like it's because before the rise of Olaplex, I didn't really look into hair care more. You know what I mean? Now that I can compare with other products and on its own, I would personally say on its own, it doesn't do that much. However, partnered with lots of other products, it obviously does do something right. I'm not gonna be reaching again to go and buy this anytime soon. It's not the best product I use at the moment. I'd say it's probably near the bottom, so I'm only gonna rate it three out of 10. While only using this, my hair was still very, very bushy, so I don't think it does that much. After I've added that, I go in with Olape Olapex, Olaplex, of course. This is the number seven bonding oil. I've nearly run out of this as well. I feel like my hair does need quite a lot of this for it to actually do anything. I'm gonna rate it six out of 10. I have definitely noticed a difference. I feel like this is another product that needs to be partnered with other things. While I was building up my hair products, I did go through a phase of just using this and the John Frieda. And as I said, I don't think it did enough for my hair but it is a great product. I will be getting more once this has run out or maybe for Christmas if I can hold on till then. I also recently got these two little bad boys for my birthday from my boyfriend. He very kindly took me to Superdrug and said I could have any hair products I like. I went for this three miracle oil from Aussie and it's the smooth one. I don't know if you guys can see. It's basically meant to give you a really nice shine effect and I absolutely love it. I have noticed great things from using this. I'm gonna rate it 10 out of 10. This is also gonna be incorporated back into the hair care routine at the end, so look out for this one's coming back. And so is this one, which is its little twin sister. This is the SOS Save My Lengths 3-in-1 Hair Oil. I apply this near the end just to add a bit more moisture because I feel like when your hair dries or when you have dry hair, it is always bunched near the bottom. So this is a great product for that. And 
and it's for defrizzing, detangling. Honestly, I love it. Both those products from Aussie are a godsend. I didn't even realize that those products were that good until I got them. And then is this one. This is the Hair Boss by Lisa Shepherd, and it's a semi-permanent shine spray. Need I say more? Just get it. Just get it. I went around looking for a shine spray for so long and couldn't find one. Then I found this in Superdrug. It's absolutely amazing. I spray it on my wet hair. Then as I'm blow drying in sections, I will spray a bit more on the section I'm about to blow dry. It makes my hair so, so shiny. I have never, ever felt so happy with my hair until I bought this. Well, until Sam got it for me. Shout out to Sam. He did bits for my birthday. It boosts biopolymers that protect the hair against humidity and frizz, all while preventing damage from styling. It's just so good. I could rave about this until the cows come home. And then lastly, before I blow dry my hair, I just add some heat protectant spray and I have the L'Oreal Elnet satin heat protect styling spray ideal for blow dries and i've had this for years i just do it right at the end just spray it on as i can and then i let my hair dry a little bit because there's nothing worse than attempting to blow dry your hair while it's still soaking wet i personally think it's best to leave your hair for around 20 minutes depending on how thick your hair is and how fast it dries that is how long i leave my hair usually unless i'm in a rush then i go on to do my brazilian blow dry i can show you my hair dryer as well okay i'm back this is the hair dryer i use it is called the, if it wants to focus, there we go, Elkim 3900 Healthy Ionic. I'm not sure if it's Elkim or Elchim, but it doesn't even matter. Surely it's not Elchim. Elchim. I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> when I blow dry my hair, I divide it into sections, maybe just like that much. I have quite a nice long, what's the word for this? I don't know. One of these extenders, which can get a lot more hair. I just sort of go down like this. And obviously I use one of those like round brushes. And then it goes very coarse and fluffy and then I leave it after I've blow dried it to cool down for minimum an hour this is because when you blow dry your hair you know you're applying lots of heat on it I have heard that the particles in your hair expand so it is best to then straighten your hair once your hair has cooled down and the particles have contracted again to prevent frizz and I'm not joking whenever I do do that I have noticed much better results if I'm in a rush for example and I don't get a chance to let my hair cool down I will always see that when I straighten it is very frizzy still if i leave it for maybe two hours if i have the time one hour two hours even three hours then i straighten it i get a much sleeker result if you can definitely leave it a while but as i said if you can't you can't you know life gets in the way sometimes but that is a little hack for you I'm just gonna have a drink Ugh. oh my god i'm one of those people i literally can't tolerate hearing somebody chew and drink like gulping anyway then i will straighten my hair and i usually use GHDs. I'm thinking of investing in other straighteners just because GHDs, it can only get to one temperature which is a good and a bad thing. It prevents damage but it also means that it might not get hot enough to really sleek out that hair, do you know what I mean? Before I go to bed, I finish off my hair routine with Olaplex again. This one is number six, the Bond Smoother. It's a leave-in reparative styling cream which reduces frizz, nourishes and protects. Apply at night for amazing next day hair. Yeah, that's what I do. I apply before I go to bed, just down here, top tip as well, never ever apply lots of hair product up here. I would say you should start doing your hair product application from around here because if you do it up here, it almost like clumps together and goes all oily and it almost looks as if you have greasy hair when you don't. And then these two bad boys are back. I add some more of this, not as much, but just a little bit. And then when I go to sleep to get amazing next day hair without any heat, I use satin scrunchies. Honestly, I'm putting you onto these because they are amazing. I didn't get these ones from Primark, but I just saw the other day you actually can get these in Primark. I do this thing with my hair, bear with. I kind of get it like this, get my hand like that, and then go like that, put my finger into the middle, and then almost wrap it round. This is just a rough sketch, by the way. And then I get my scrunchie and tie it around so that I sleep in two buns like this. Obviously, it's done a lot better than that. I am left with gorgeous waves in the morning. It is amazing. It will also mean you get less split ends because it means you wake up with gorgeous hair naturally. It's just amazing. Why would you not do it? Oh my God, did I even rate some of the products? Which ones didn't I rate? The Lisa Shepherd Shine Spray, I rate a million out of 10. Sorry if it's quite loud. It is the school rush outside where I live. I also rate the Olaplex number six, seven out of 10. I don't 
don't love the consistency of it. I feel like it's easy to accidentally clump it in certain areas of your hair. Maybe it would be better in like an oil or a sort of more thinner consistency. And when you style it the next day and apply heat to your hair, it almost ends up creating this weird smell on your head. Like it almost smells like burnt cheesy popcorn. It only happens if I use this. It is not me. I do not smell of cheesy popcorn. But it's a bit strange. Has anybody else found that with this one? I used it every single day when I went to Rome and I only brought that hair product with me and it was creating the like cheesy popcorn smell. So I know it is that. That is my extensive hair care routine for my day-to-day -day life. I won't lie to you, I only wash my hair once a week because of my hair type. My hair doesn't get greasy because it's naturally curly. It almost like self-washes with oils and stuff. The longest I have not washed my hair is two weeks when I had glandular fever. I was very poorly and it still didn't get greasy then. Also, you can actually train your hair to be washed once a week if you struggle with like it getting greasy and stuff. And I don't want to hear from anybody, ew, that's so gross that you only wash your hair once a week a lot of people do it and a lot of people don't want to say that they do it because of this bad perception that it's dirty but it actually isn't my hair looks better on day seven than day one now we're gonna go through my curly hair routine for when i'm on holiday i'll just attach some more images of my curly hair there i am going to make a vow on this video that i will wear my hair curly more guys okay okay i will right we're bringing back this absolute angel i use this on my curly hair at the start after i've just washed it i add quite a lot of this so that you can almost feel it being a bit squelchy but that's what you need because if you don't add enough product to curly hair it just doesn't do anything i also add this one which is the tony and guy leave-in conditioner so two different kinds of leave-in conditioners i rate this one an eight i haven't really got much to say about it yet because i haven't really used it that many times with my curly hair i might do an updated rating once i've used these a bit more often i've got this which is the Cantu Shea Butter, or Shea Butter. Don't know how to say it, sorry. The Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. Activates curls, delivers volume and shine. I don't know if this works, and here is why. I took it to Spain with me, but I was only allowed to take 100 ml. And as you can see, this bottle is 355 ml. I only took that much for a week. I was only adding the tiniest amount every time, and I don't think it did anything. Gonna have to do it at home, adding a lot, and let you know the rating for this one. So I won't be mean and give this one a harsh rating when I haven't really experienced the full potential yet. And the same goes for this one, which is the As I Am Curling Jelly. This is a very weird consistency. I don't know if you can see, it's a jelly, but it's very like liquidy. So like I said, I will do an updated video to see if these really did work. That is my curly hair routine. I do think I need to get some more products for that. But like I said, as I never really do it, there hasn't really been any point investing. Oh, I forgot. This is also in my curly hair routine. It is the Alberto Balsam Wet Look Styling Gel. I got this from Sabres and I love it because it's so versatile. I've used some today just to like flatten down any flyaways. You can use it over your whole hair, just a little bit, just to get some flyaways along here here like baby hairs and stuff you can like stick them down with this and it's really lightweight also for like slick back ponytails as you can see i've nearly used it all because it's really good rate this 10 out of 10 and it was so cheap it was like three pounds and you know what that completes the rating of all of my hair care products i do have a lot not as many as i thought actually i thought i had way more trust me all of these products that i've mentioned are really really good this kind of hair since i actually stopped and created a hair care routine i've noticed such good results for my hair i had glandular fever when I was 18 and I lost a lot of hair to the point where I had to wear clip-on extensions because I was so self-conscious of how thin it had got and now I've got to this point where it's so nice and thick and all the same length I'm just really happy with it that's come with time practice and trial and error not all these products are going to work for everybody for example I personally find that curly hair foam doesn't work on my curls I don't like the sort of crunchy effect it creates do you know what I mean then it might work for somebody else I will my curls to be nice and soft let me know if you would like me to do a part two or if you'd like me to do any sort of tutorials hair styles honestly i love anything to do with hair so just let me know what you would like to see from me as always thank you so much for watching sitting down and having some sofa talk with me don't forget to like and subscribe it all means the absolute world to me and i will see you in the next video